this up to, to new receiver coach Chris Bruckner in the early days for you, like being under his tutelage? Or what's it like? Um, what's it like him on the field coaching right now? Uh, he's real cool, easy going. Like he knows how to talk. Like and just get you motivated and like he's really like he's like talking to somebody that's your like age like not he's mature but you know what I mean like he's real cool like I can talk to him really easy real relatable yeah like and then we from the same area kind of so it's kind of easy to talk to him um, Jaden tell us a little bit about your spring so far and some of the things that you're trying to work on in the offseason I feel like it's going good like, I'm just trying to work on really just trying to be more effective for my team like and just try to step up and be the leader like coach was saying and just trying to get in that role so I can just take over and just just make my like just I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say I'm just trying to become that that guy in the room yeah because so many years here and, and now you you are kind of the elder statesman in that wide receiver group do you do you relish in that and, and being kind of the guy that People are gonna look to for direction. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I, uh, I just like being able to teach younger, like the younger ones coming in, what I've been learning here this whole time. So I love it. Um, well, like talking to Coach Staff, he said that you're kind of taking this year really seriously because you know what's gonna be your final season. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that and, and, and how you kind of approach it this season. I just really just trying to get better in any little thing that I can get better in, from techniques to catching the ball to getting bigger, just getting faster, just anything, really. Like something I was good at last year, I'm trying to be great at it this year, so. You made a lot of on-the-field accomplishments yourself, but one thing that hadn't happened is a winning season here yet. Yes. How important is that to you going into your final year? Like, that's my number one priority. I want to get to a bowl game, because I, I haven't been here for five years for nothing, so I'm trying to win this year. Hopefully get to the bowl game, hopefully win the conference. Can you feel that sentiment around the locker room with other players? Uh, yes, I feel it because everybody really has the same kind of mentality. So we c we come to work and compete, and we that's, I feel like we are like pushing in the same direction. Tell us about this receiver room. It seems like one of the deeper positions on the roster. Tell us what you feel like uh, you guys are going to bring to the team this year. I feel like we're going to bring that competitive edge, and like we we got a lot of people that can step up and make plays, and like we got a lot of smart people on the field too. So. I feel like we're going we're gonna to help the offense way, like be way more productive this year. You know, Coach pointed to you as one of the vocal leaders in that receiver room. But who would you say is these, or some of the others, whether one, two, or other guys who you really think are stepping up this, this early? It's kind of like Coach was saying. We are leading our, like, in different ways. I think I'm more of a, like, a lead by example type person. And, and I feel like DeMarc is kind of like, he brings the energy. Like, he gets everybody live. Like, it can be five in the morning. He yelling, screaming, coming there, dancing. Uh, Marcel kind of get everybody, he gets everybody going uh, by just making plays. And uh, he's vocal too. And uh, everybody just kind of stepping up into a role that we need for the room. So. You know, there was a little bit of improvement from last year to the year before to get to four wins. Um, do, you, do you feel guys saw that happen, the little bit of improvement, to think, okay, you know what, now we can build on that going forward? Yeah, I think, everybody's, I think everybody's seeing it and uh, kind of, they kind of making it like more, like everybody's kind of pushing in the same direction. Like I'm saying, like they just like everybody. You can tell everybody wants to win and is tired of losing, so we're grinding. Well, it's pretty crowded quarterback room too. A lot of a lot of quarterbacks, a few new ones coming in. Um, what, what's it been like uh, dealing with multiple quarterbacks? We're talking spellings. So one day it's this guy's getting multiple reps, and next day it's, it's someone else. What's that? Uh, I, I like how they're competing with each other. Like, cause one day, it, like just like he's saying, like basically, like one day he's just you never know who's gonna have a good day, and then all of them could be having a good day one day, and then the whole offense is just running how it's supposed to run. So, I feel like it's good to be around all of them and seeing how they lead and compete with each other. How competitive are the receivers with each other? Very. We we always compete in everything. It can be who gonna get there first, who. We're going to do this and that. Like, it's everything we do is competitive. So. I know you and Barty are pretty close in career touchdowns. I, I don't yes, know. Sir. I'm pretty sure you're a leader. I think I'd have to look it up. But uh, do you guys do you guys keep track of that at yeah, all? Yeah, we always we always mess with each other and keep track of that. And we're real competitive with each other. Like, who can catch the most balls every practice? And just we always mess with each other.
pretty sure it's his last year too, right? So you guys yeah, try to beat him. Yeah, we're going to see. I'm going to get him. <laughs>